Thank you for joining the Author Spotlight Show. My name is Gail Watson, President and CEO of Women Speakers Association. As part of running a global community of women in over 120 countries, it is my privilege that I get to connect and have meaningful conversations with women from all around the world doing amazing work. It's an important time for women to step up into finding their voice and owning it. It's even more exciting when she takes her words and she puts them down on paper into a book so that they're easily shared for the world to learn from her. Today's guest is the wonderful and amazing Catherine. Welcome to the show, Catherine. Thank you, Gail. Thank you for inviting me. I'm excited to be here. I'm super excited to have you here. And and mostly because you share a very powerful story. I believe your, your stories on strength, uh, stress, mental health. And I know this has been an extraordinary, this past year has been extraordinary for you, filled with a lot going on, not just globally, but personally. I'd love for you to share with us today, what inspired you to really speak from your heart and share your story? Well, right now, especially with COVID and people that have been locked up and feel like they're locked up, it's, um, it's very important that they learn how to handle the stress that comes with that. Because when you're alone, it, it really affects your mental health and your physical health. So when you learn to tie it all together, it really makes a big difference. And I'm sorry, I forgot about my phone. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> um, it really makes a difference in paying attention to what's going on in your life. And my story is not very unique, but I share a lot of my details to inspire the readers to know that it's okay. And a lot of people struggle with mental illness and they're ashamed of it. We want to get rid of that stigma. So that's the inspiration that guides me to all my writings. Right. So it's, I mean, you, you share, you go deep, you go into a really person, you know, a personal story. What do you want the readers to take away from your story? I want them to actually think about what I'm saying and take to heart, not feel sorry for me, but analyze themselves and recognize that, yes, the COVID brought on a lot of stress and mental and physical symptoms that may have um, elaborated on the simple stress and you may realize that you can have mental illness and not even know it. So if you recognize in my story some of those little signs, it may be time to reach out and say, you know, I think I need help. Or if you don't want to get help, you could just talk to a friend or a neighbor or just a relative. And nowadays, being that we're on lockdown, as I'm calling it, um, you can do that by the telephone or you could get on a Zoom or a FaceTime message and find the things that are really digging at yourself. And when you find that, it'll help you recognize how to overcome it. Yeah, that's so important. Um, and you bring up a very good point that our 2020 year has brought, um, has, has shed light or, or magnified um, different things in us. And uh, I mean, it's all over the media today about the, the mental health, the mental stressors that this time has put on us. And, um, and I know that this is your passion. This is your place of passion and your, your, where your magic, you know, cause you, you actually have a mentoring business that supports people in this area. Can you share a little bit more about that? Yes. Well, first I want to share my slogan, which I received from God and my angels. And that is brighten your day with turquoise. Turquoise is a soothing color. It helps us focus. It helps us relax if we're in front of people and we're, we're nervous about talking. I'm always wearing turquoise and that represents 
how it helps me and it spreads the word to the world. And with that mentoring, what I do is I share through psychic readings and angel cards and I have conversations with my clients and we discover by the card readings and conversation of what are those nitty gritty things that are causing you to feel stressed. And we, we try to figure out what the best modality for each situation. So I don't know Reiki specifically, but I may recommend that to my client and say, you know, I will recommend this person because they can help you in that respect. And then there's the meditation. And there's just so many modalities that I've learned over the years. And I share them with my clients and continue working with them until they feel better. Or if they want to continue, we just do the readings and we try to connect with the beyond. And when people connect with their relatives, sometimes that makes a very big difference in their stress because they'll recognize that they're still loved. And I think through this whole thing with the COVID, a lot of people are not feeling loved. And when you don't feel it, that's, that's a whole big thing that's in my story because I talk about my husband dying last year and it was before COVID, but I'm still alone. And there was so much horror that centralized through his last days and I didn't feel loved. I felt like I was being thrown away and that, that was very hard on me, but if you notice, I am smiling and I am happy. So I overcome, I persevere. And I actually want to read a quote because this is very, very strong and it represents my own journey. I've fallen, I've cried, I've been angry and afraid, but even when I was hurting, I've always found a way to keep going. A strong woman never gives up. And as many times as I've fallen, I have kept on getting up. And through COVID, losing my husband, being alone, I am coping and I am using all those modalities myself to keep moving forward. And I highly recommend that everybody finds their own modalities that does help. I love that you uh, introduce us to other means. It's not just one way for you. There's mm -hmm. other ways and that we really need to be open to other ways of going through this. Um, be, and, and you've, <laughs> I mean, you've just had just such a, a really hard year. Yes. And, you know, thank you for being that demonstration and proving that, uh, you know, your different techniques, your coping mechanisms, are, are working. And not only that, but thank you for sharing them. So this has been a, a very hard time on a lot of people. I'm thinking everybody needs to get a copy of your book. Uh, yes. Because it, and not just for themselves. I'm thinking that we could probably list five, if not 10 <laughs> people, maybe more of yep. people who have been affected, and that are feeling perhaps isolated, that they've also, you know, had a very hard time during this. And what a beautiful gift your book would be just to simply say, I see you, you're not alone. You know, to write that in person, it would just be really beautiful. So Catherine, where can we get a copy of this book? You can email me at Catherine at CatherineMLab.com and that's C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E at Catherine M Lab, C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E-M-L-A-U-B.com. And you can learn more about me on my website, which is CatherineMLab.com. And I'm, I'm really excited to be able to share this whole journey with everybody because um, I have learned how to overcome and I want to have other people overcome too. That's my mission is to help people overcome. So um, what I want to say also is that you, you do have to reach out. 
there is a support system and it's just waiting for you. There's so many modalities. And once you reach out for that support, you're gonna be amazed at how much better you can feel. I'm excited that I can help you. Thank you so much, Catherine. And thank, thank you, you for sharing yourself with us, being so personal, being so open in that story. Your story is one that inspires, it gives hope and uh, it needs to be shared and it needs to be passed along and it makes a beautiful gift for somebody um, because the gifts that you give this world are extraordinary. And um, yeah, so a woman that you need to know, Catherine Laub, uh, she's the real deal and can, <laughs> and can help you out. So Catherine, you are so full of inspiring words. You're in a demonstration of someone who's been there, done that, you know, and continue yep. to do so. What would you like to leave us with today? Any words of wisdom? The biggest thing, as I said, is that you need to recognize that if it's not only stress, that it's been something more, it's time to reach out. And I'm there for you, Gail's there for you. Look up the women in the book with the other co-authors and so many people are there just waiting to help you. So please reach out. And thank you, Gail, for having me. Oh my goodness, thank you. And I love that message. Quite simply, you're not alone. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Thank you again, Catherine. And um, thank you to all our listeners today. I really appreciate you taking the time to tune in. Uh, I hope you, I hope your heart is full as much as I feel right now listening to Catherine. I love that there's people on this planet like you, Catherine, that are filling us up with goodness and hope and getting us through. So thank you very much. Um, I look forward to connecting with everybody again very soon. Thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you again very, very soon. Thank you. Thank you.